Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you um, this video. I wanted to talk about this video that someone sent me on Instagram. And I was completely appalled by this video. First of all, I don't understand why someone would want to abuse their child on camera. Regardless of what the child does, I don't understand what's the point of that. Why would you want that kind of attention? Second of all, this is horrible. Put your hands on your lap. Put your hands on your lap. Little ass girl. Little ass Put girl. Put your feet on the ground. Do what the fuck I'm telling you to do. And that's your and problem. Put your hands on your lap. Put your hands on your lap. Put your hand on your lap. Put it on your lap. Put your hands on your lap. Girl. Put your hands on your lap. Put your hands on your lap. Put your hands on your lap. You're not playing that shit. I hold them there for you. I hold them there for you. Unless you break my damn garage. I hold them there for you. Get her ass. Stand up. You know, the things that go on. Now I did. Some personal research. I looked in the comments and I looked up some things and basically they're saying the situation is not even the girl's fault. You know, I heard that this guy is beating up on her. Pretty much her dad. He has um molested her. And basically they're shaming her because she molested somebody else. She molested another child. And she was stealing money from someone, she was doing all kind of bad things, and now they're shaming her online. Because she's doing said bad things. And I'm looking at this like, are you serious? So they're beating up on her, embarrassing her, and shaming her. Online, because of what she's done. Now, it's not her fault. If any of that's true, which it seems like it, um, none of this is really her fault. If her father molested her and she molested somebody else, that's not her fault. She needs therapy. She needs help. You know, you can't blame the child for that. It happens. That's just crazy. And it's also crazy that this so-called dad, or I guess father figure, whatever he's supposed to be to her, um, he touched her first, so he's not going to expect her to act out on that. He's going to demoralize her the way he should be demoralized. That's just ridiculous. You know, this video will just... <sighs> it's really sad. Now, I don't know if any action has been taken since I saw this video. And since making this video, I don't know if they actually found this guy. I don't know if he's been taken in or anything. I don't know. I want to look up some more info in a little while and see if I can find anything. But, you know... This is crazy. People demoralizing their kids online like this. This should not be done. Like I said, I don't care what the child has done. I don't care if you have the worst teenager in the world. This is not the way to handle things. You can't go online and do that. Don't embarrass them like that. It's not even necessary. If the child is acting out a certain way, it's your fault. More than likely, it's because something you did, something you did as a parent. Something you allowed to happen, bad influences, you let your child hang around, all of that, any of that. You know, more than likely it's your fault. You cannot blame the child, especially when it comes to abuse. When it comes to sexual abuse, sexual assault, anything of the sort, child molestation, raping, any of that. You learn it from somewhere. So she learned it from him, apparently. She learned it from somebody, whether it was just him or, the sh or he had an accomplice. We don't know, but it's not her fault. You know, she was molesting somebody else, that's really not her fault, and she needs help. They didn't put her in any therapy, therapy because they probably didn't want anyone to know about this. Even though, okay, this fool willingly put this shit online, and he shouldn't have. So yeah, now he just opened Pandora's box, you know? And, you know, I just want to share this because this is atrocious. Do not do this to your child. 
this is this is just bad all around obviously um i almost cried watching this video a couple of times because it's just fucking ridiculous this girl does not deserve this okay she's 14 um she should be getting therapy for what happened to her and she should not be put online you know like this this is crazy <sighs> it just reminds me of so many so many things things i've been through um family members that i know of or <clears throat> seen and witnessed some things happening behind the scenes as they were kids you know being abused you know things happen this poor child needs help. I hope somebody actually helps her and gets her out of the situation. I hope CPS takes her out. I hope somebody takes her out. Somebody who cares and is able to help her out. I hope she gets help because, y'all, this ain't it. This should not. This shit should not even be online. He should not even be beating her up like this. None of this. None of this makes any sense, y'all. This, this is, this is wrong. Of course. You know. And like I said, I don't care what the child is doing. Even if she wasn't abused, even if she was just a bad child, again, it's your fucking fault. It's your child. You know? If you let them hang around a bad influence, again, your fault. If you let them, you know, do things they shouldn't be doing, let them watch things they shouldn't be watching to make them turn out a certain way, again, that's your fault. That's your child. That's your responsibility. Get it together. You can't blame the school system. You can't blame your friends. You can't blame anybody else but you. You need to teach your child better and teach them how to act right. Period. It doesn't matter. You know, you can't blame anybody else for that shit. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to share that because, you know, my channel is open to talk about abuse and all that other stuff. And I just want to shed some light on this situation and, you know, see what you guys think about it. And, you know, raise some awareness. And, um, yeah, let me know if you know any more information about this incident and what you think and all the other jazz. I hope you guys are staying safe and well and having a great day, second, hour, month, minute, and week. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.